recently, you said that confusion is good for business. And I'm curious how you explain that, because usually, well, people get confused by confusion. Well, when people are confused, they ask for help. Uh, and, and in this world today, uh, there's so many different distribution outlets. There's so many ways of communicating with the consumer. Uh, we're in the marketing and communication business, and we have to help our clients navigate through all of this, and we have to stay on top of it. So the confusion means we have to be in front of our clients every day, challenging ourselves to make sure we're ahead of the curve. I said, customers don't want to hear only proprietary products. They want to see the best product for the client, not necessarily the one that your company has manufactured and is selling. And by the way, when a client sees you focusing on their needs, not your needs, they become clients for life. We don't take inventory. So when our clients are dealing with us, they know that we're there, we're, we're operating on their behalf. So they don't have to worry about us selling an inventory that we've an economic interest. Now some of our competitors do that, and they do it with a full disclosure. And I understand it. I just happen to believe when I was on the other side that I like my service provider not to have an economic interest in terms of what they're selling. We're constantly on screens all the time. And actually what we found is that some people want that deeply immersive experience that you get from print. We'll continue to do that. There's nothing like it, that kind of real lean back experience. Some people want a deep um, experience with an event. So everybody, you know, we, we are finding that people want to come to uh, you know, an event with our editor, they want to hear their point of view, they want to come to a party we've organized. Not only the speed has changed, but our relative position to the market has changed a lot. Because in Latin America and any developing economy, mobile is way bigger than desktop has ever been or will be. So that changes significantly what you do with digital. Once that mobile, it's not only the predominant platform, but for half your population, it's the only platform. Part of it is generational. I mean, the kids today, they get everything for nothing on the internet. So it's very difficult for them to pay for something. That said, we have done some studies that say they're willing to pay for it if there's the additional value added to the content. But, but you're starting with a negative, and that is it should be for nothing.